Hi there, welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and I do mostly Salesforce tutorials. Um, however, this is somewhat related to Salesforce. So I figured it was worth making a tutorial. Um, a little bit of backstory on kind of the context on why we are filtering and blocking emails in Gmail. Um, this email is currently set up to route support cases into our Salesforce org. And so we need to block emails from our email host so it does not create a support ticket in our ticketing system. So specifically, I'm going to be using Google Community Team for this example. We need to filter them out and I'm going to have them go immediately into spam. So I just came in and copied their email. Um, I'm gonna go back here, go to settings which is just that little gear icon. Click all settings and filters and blocked addresses. Um, the difference between filters, um, filters you can have things go different ways and you can create a logic to say, hey, if it's this person, then actually send it to this other email address. Let's say you were off a project and so you needed to forward any email containing information about that project to the new owner of that. Or let's say you're getting a lot of spam from Domino's, which I have been there, um, then you here you can come in and block their email. But let's go ahead and start off with a filter. Um, and I'm going to have this be the Google community team dash no reply to, let's see, this email is called certification course gmail.com going to click create a filter. So it is just saying um, anytime Google community team sends an email to us, then send it directly to this place. And here's where we get to place where we want it to go. I just want it to skip the inbox and have it go immediately into archiving so it won't create that ticket. I'm going to create that filter. And there we go. Anytime Gmail community or Google community team emails us, then it'll automatically go into the archived pile. And if we want to block, then we have to go back into that email that we have from them. And we can go to this little three dot icon, click block, block again, and there we go. It'll automatically be marked as spam. So either way, those emails won't hit our inbox. They will go directly into spam or into archiving. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you want more videos like this, then be sure to drop a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, helps the channel out, and I'll catch you in the next one.